do not buy another domain name until you watch this video. So in 2023, Squarespace acquired Google domains. And since that acquisition happened, the platform of domain hosting over on Squarespace has really gone downhill. We've seen sites go down or sites move over to the Squarespace servers and no one tells the actual person who owns the website. And that means the site goes down and they have no notice. The support for Squarespace domains is Squarespace in general is also a bit limited and it's become really difficult for companies like mine who help other people get their websites online to log in and even see what is going on with those domain names if there's an issue. So if you need to buy another domain name in 2025, our current go-to is Namecheap. We're not affiliates. We get paid nothing for saying that. We just have had a lot more success with this platform for buying domain names than on other ones. So I'm going to teach you how to purchase a domain name. So I'm going to go to namecheap.com and let's try searching for palmtreelogo.com. My logo is a palm tree, so that is why I'm going with this demo URL. So it looks like this is an available URL and I appreciate that a lot of these other URLs are available as well. Generally, it's a good idea to buy similar URLs to the one that you are using as your main URL. I generally don't recommend buying a URL unless you can get the .com and you also wanna to check to make sure that that same URL or that same like name that you're gonna use for your, your URL is available at Instagram and TikTok and all of the other social channels that you plan to use. Your brand is probably gonna be a lot more memorable if that URL is consistent throughout all the different platforms. So I think it's pretty important to make sure that that is available everywhere. I also think that it can be a good idea to grab some of these other URLs that are similar to the .com. So if .net is available, if .org is available, if it makes sense for your organization, go ahead and grab some of those other URLs. Most of them are only going to be around $12 or $13 a year. So it's not a huge investment to make sure that nobody else encroaches on your .com domain. For now, though, since this is a demo video, I'm just going to go with this one and I'm going to add it to my cart. And once you add something to your cart, Namecheap is going to come up with a bunch of different options. It's going to offer you business email or SSL or premium DNS. And I actually think that we probably don't need any of those, especially if you're going to host on a high quality hosting platform like Show It, which is our go-to website host. So I'm going to skip all of those and we're going to do the checkout. So to start, I'm just going to do one year of hosting. I'll leave this free domain privacy on and I'm not going to add any of those other items. So I'm just going to click on confirm order. So from here, Namecheap is going to want you to create an account or create some sort of username. And then you'll also need to add in some of your basic contact information in order for Namecheap to be able to get in touch with you. For internet security reasons, I can also requires your contact information to be registered in their database. But with that privacy that we got for free when we purchased our domain name, we can hide it from the general public. So if I can or someone else needs to get in touch with us about our website, they can see those details, but the general public cannot. I'm going to leave this checked so that my personal information does not show up in the database. And then I'm going to hit continue. From here, I'll enter in my credit card details and then complete the purchase. Once you successfully made your purchase, you'll see this confirmation page and then we can go in and start managing our domain. And this is where we do things like customize the DNS to point it elsewhere to a site like Show It for hosting. This is also where we can customize our MX records to do a custom email address with something like G Suite and I will teach you how to do that in another video. All right, so if you guys have any questions, drop them in the comments below. And if you like this video and you wanna see more from our channel, make sure that you hit like and subscribe.